Sheep farming is one of the key industries bringing high economic profits each year. Billions of dollars are earned annually in sheep farming and wool production. You will learn how farmers operate lamb farms and wool production lies in this video. Let's go. Sheep farming is not only an important economic sector, but also a complex and an important activity in providing food, raw materials, and creating jobs for many people around the world. The process of raising sheep is carried out through different stages, from lambs to adult sheep. Lambs are born and cared for with their mothers on the farm until weaned, usually around two to three months of age. During this time, they are breastfed and provided with additional food, such as fresh grassy and dry straw, creating a cozy and safe environment to grow. After weaning, the lambs are taken to a separate area on the farm, beginning the time of preparing for adulthood. Adult sheep are cared for in barns or free range on pastures. The main food of adult sheep includes fresh grass, dry straw, and grains for meat, milk, fur, and skin purposes. Sheep farming is present in many regions of the world, especially concentrated regions with temperate and subtropical climates. Sheep farming not only brings economic benefits, but also requires attention and in-depth knowledge from farmers. This includes choosing sheep breeds suitable for local climate and soil conditions, building safe and sanitary barns, providing adequate food and water, and providing adequate vaccinations to prevent epidemics According to data from FAO, the total sheep herd in the world today is about 1.4 billion, contributing an important part to the total livestock herd in the world. Asia is the region with the largest sheep population, accounting for 53% of the world's total sheep population, while Europe ranks second with about 21% of the world's total sheep population. These numbers indicate that sheep farming plays an important role in the global economy and is a significant source of food for everyone on the planet. In addition to the two main methods of shearing and shaving, harvesting wool is a technical process requiring care and skills to ensure high quality. After the wool is harvested, the wool blanket production process begins with sorting and processing the wool. The process of sorting and processing the sheep's wool requires careful selection according to quality, color, length, and other factors.
The hair is then processed to remove dirt and impurities, ensuring the best quality fleas. This process also helps increase the heat, resistance, and durability of the fleas through the use of specialized chemicals. Once the fleece has been processed, the fiber processing process begins. The fleece is pressed into yarn and then woven into fabric. In this way, the wool blanket industry not only takes advantage of natural raw materials, but also creates high quality products with a variety of styles and sizes. The main areas where wool harvesting and production are carried out are located in countries with temperate and subtropical climates. Asia, Europe and Africa are regions famous for their large scale and high quality in this industry. Up to now, according to data from FAO, Total sheep wool production in the world reaches about 2.5 million tons per year. Of which Asia accounts for about 60% and Europe accounts for about 20% of total output. This shows the importance of the wool blanket industry, not only in providing raw materials, but also in creating jobs and generating income for many countries around the world. The industry also faces a number of challenges, including raising feed prices, sheep diseases that can cause huge losses to sheep flocks, and competition from alternative products such as synthetic wool blankets created to overcome these challenges Industry workers need to apply effective measures, such as choosing good quality sheep breeds, fully vaccinating properly caring for sheep, and using modern technological equipment during harvesting and wool production. Producing handmade wool blankets is not simply a technical process, but also a delicate art, starting from harvesting the wool to creating high-quality products. The production process of wool blankets is not limited to weaving and sewing, but also involves processing the wool. Wool blanket makers must have high technical skills and long-term skills to create quality products, from removing dirt and impurities and fleas to the manual weaving and sewing process. The technique and care in the production process not only helps with the increase of the durability and quality of the product, but also ensures that the handmade wool blanket is not only a high quality product, but also a symbol of art and tradition and needs to be preserved and promoted in the modern era. Do you own products made from sheep's wool? Let us know in the comment section which kind of products do you have. And for now, allow me to invite you to continue watching the rest of the video.
here's what's happening at a turkey farm incubator in Minnesota with state-of-the-art technology. This incubator has recently been able to produce up to 57,000 turkeys per incubation. After these seven days, thousands of eggs will be checked to make sure the cells inside are developing properly. Have you ever eaten turkeys or their eggs? After four weeks, thousands of eggs have hatched and these turkeys are ready to start a new life. This is a procedure for testing and vaccinating defective one day old or wheat turkeys. There are approximately 2,500 turkey farms currently in the United States. And the number of turkey farms in Minnesota is approximately 667. Raising turkeys is essentially the same as raising chickens, although they take longer to mature. These two-week-old turkeys are on a farm in North Carolina. North Carolina ranks second in the US in terms of turkey population at about 33 million. This was taken at a turkey farm in Arkansas. Currently, Arkansas also is one of the states with the largest number of turkeys. They have around 31.5 million. According to statistics, turkeys contribute $304 million annually to Arkansas, and the turkey economy and industry provides about 19,000 jobs. Not only do they live in captivity, but many farms in the United States also raise free-range turkeys. This range is great and helps prevent diseases in turkeys while also improving the quality of the meat. Alabama currently has the largest turkey population in terms of wild turkey population in the United States. The main feed used for turkeys is soybeans, wheat, corn and barley. After about six months, thousands of these turkeys are ready for harvest. Workers will catch and load thousands of turkeys into these cages and then load them onto trucks to transport them to the turkey processing plants. In 2021, 46 million turkeys were eaten at Thanksgiving, 22 million at Christmas, and 19 million at Easter. Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury of the United States, once declared there was not a single American citizen who would not eat turkey on Thanksgiving Day. And this has become mostly true. This is what happens at a turkey processing plant. Here, thousands of turkeys will be dipped in boiling water and cleaned of feathers before moving on to the next stage. With modern technology, this factory only needs to employ 40 to 50 workers in the entire process of processing thousands of turkeys a day.
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue on what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.